I really don't know. Do it. Hit me with it. You're christened. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's that time again. That once a month delightful time where we all get together, sit down with a box full of deliciousness from our friends, Vegan Cuts. And uh, it's a monthly subscription box. I'm doing good. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> doing big things. Monthly subscription box where you get a whole bunch of goodies from uh, from Vegan Cuts. It shows up to your doorstep. It's super nice. And uh, and we like to sit down and review it with you guys. There's a link to Vegan Cuts down there. $5 off? $5 off um, <laughs> to start your Vegan Cuts box. And then uh, you won't get this one. You'll get next month if you sign up today. <gasps> Today. And uh, and then we can have vegan cuts together, or you can get our impressions after the fact, contra, uh, contrast, compare, and uh, and all that fun stuff. Things that vegan cuts does that's super cool. Schwa. <laughs> they donate to animal sanctuary. Oh my god, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. <laughs> it's one of those Isn't one of those scary yak? cows or yaks. Or, yeah. hey, but can someone like get the hair out of his eyes? <laughs> so him. um. They donate to animal sanctuaries. Some of the proceeds go to that, and uh, it's featured on these little cards. I really do enjoy these things. Yeah, they're um, and then on the back, it tells you all about what's in there, gluten-free options, kind of details some things out for you, all that fun stuff. They're in Connecticut, Lynchfield, Con Connecticut. Lynchfield, yeah. Lynchfield. Yeah. Lynchfield. JP Farm Animal Sanctuary, where there is a yak cow hairy thing. Yak cow hairy thing. Dope. I don't know exactly <laughs> what animal that is. It doesn't say. So, uh, so that's what's going on as far as that's concerned. But a ton of cool stuff in the box. Do it. Yes. So because I do cheat often and check what's in the box prior, we made the mac and cheese this time, my friends. That's what I was doing. Eh? Smells like Doritos. Yes. That is a good sign. Very good sign. Little, little gritty sort of looking. But we'll see. Let's try the mac and cheese. It's done. Yes, yes. Mac, okay. and, mac and cheese. So if you enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Bing, bing. Bing, bing. Bell for notifications. <laughs> Double click it. <laughs> Double click it. Okay. Great. Let's do it. So here, camp. Oh. Camp. Camp. Vegan cheesy mac. Uh, brown rice, pea protein, and carrot stick mac. Okay. Oh. Um, Oh, yeah, watch out, I'm going to spray it. You were about Sorry. to burn me. Sorry. Um, so water to boil, and then milk and non-dairy, or... You make it like normal blue box It looks like, cheese. it's literally blue box. I even think yeah. the blue box stuff calls for six cups of water and yeah. two tablespoons of butter. Which doesn't so even actually measure the water. Am I supposed to measure the water? Well, you're supposed to make sure that you have eh, enough. Okay, that um, was enough. Here's the thing, though. So, yeah. You prepare it just like a blue box uh, mac and cheese, right? However, I will say this is actually, the pasta is made from corn flour, brown rice, uh, pea protein, zucchini, and carrot. And it smells like Doritos, the sauce. Okay. Comes the powdered like packet of sauce, okay. just like the old mac and cheese. And then I noticed that it has a good amount of iron in it. 70% of your daily value oh. is iron. Potassium, vitamin A, C, magnesium, zinc, vitamin D, 10 grams of protein per serving. There's two and a half servings serving. in this. It's not like it's super Ooh. good for you and like calories and all that, but that's not the point. It's not the point. But, but uh, those I mean, calories are absolutely worth it. Like if iron was really something in I'm your saying. diet. No, I mean, seriously. Like, like, Me too. Like that's a <laughs> lot of iron. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, that's one of those things that's actually really easy to not hit. In your, in your macros and stuff. So. Let's try it. Yeah. Take your vitamin and you'll be fine. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I think it's good. It's not. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not super strong. Like the sauce smells straight up like Doritos. But it doesn't really taste like that, but it's good. It's not overwhelming. No, it's kind of subtle. It's subtle. I get what you meant about the grittiness, but it's not no, really it's good. grittiness. Mm -hmm. It's just the powder doesn't like totally get super creamy. Maybe if I went a little longer, who knows? But it's not bad. Hey. Now, I don't feel like I've seen this before. There are tons of like 
mac and cheese boxes that are plant-based ones out there, but I don't feel like I've seen that. I kind of love it. You know what's funny? It's good. Right? I feel like. Tell me how you feel. Touch of salt. Touch of salt. And garlic powder. Would just. It's really good though. But it's it's super good by mm -hmm. itself. I'm just thinking of zhuzhing a little bit. I made dinner, guys. I made dinner. Mm. You could throw like a teaspoon of like mustard in that as well. Yeah. Gourmet chef. But it's solid all by its just out the box directions. Mmm, I like it. I don't think it'll be good cold though, so. I mean, dinner. Dinner. Just hang on. Mmm, you know what mac and cheese, and it's not even in comparison really because it's not even trying to be, but I really like the Whole Foods butternut squash mac and cheese. Yeah. It's really, really good. Um, but I, I just made me think of it, but it's really not like trying to be this kind, you know? No. Totally different. When you think mac and cheese, mm. like box mac and cheese, Annie's has a vegan one, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. That one I felt like the cheese sauce was really sticky. But that one too, they're not trying to make it like more of a protein base and stuff too, like with the mm. noodle and everything. Um, Thrive has one. I still need to try that. Yeah. Really? It's in there. I've been slapping. Wait, in where? Pan food. How has it survived this long? I don't know. <laughs> it's not buried. <laughs> Our life I can't wait to finish dinner to eat snacks. Mm. Dessert. Oh my gosh. I like it. It's really good. Mm hmm. Do you have a code on the back of the box? Um, oh, like a To get 10% of off of your next order thing? Wait, can they scan it through the thing? Does that I work? Be closer. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. I don't know if it works. I don't know. Well, you know. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't, technically. Mm-hmm. Okay. One more bite. I'm almost done. Mm. Hold on. I'm going to... What do you want to do next? Eh, you've had those. They look like little toes. Apricots. You love them. They are. They're delicious. So, apricots, super good for you. Turkish ones, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like oh, yeah. dark, dark brown. And you just um, literally got some. I'll grab them. They're, um. Oh! They're, they're figgy. They come off like, uh, like super molasses y thick. We can open yeah. them. I'm not the biggest I'll, I'll fan. Save you wanna save them? Yeah. Um, because they are mm. like very. I don't know, the, the texture for me, which is really weird because I love gummy stuff, but they're not like regular dried apricots or apricots. No, they're they, different styles. They're different. And one of you even let me know, because I just hauled this on the Trader Joe's haul, that yours right now, all you've been able to find is these oh. and not these ones. And they are different. They are. These ones are much softer, uh, the Turkish ones, mm -hmm. and definitely very sweet. You're right. I would compare it kind of to a date, but a definitely date, yeah. a different, like, or fig, but a different texture. Anyway, we've had those before, yeah. though. Oh, I love Herbaland gummies. Uh, it's been a flavor. while. Heck yeah, man. Uh, this is actually candy, though, but it has some benefits in it. Okay, Herbaland had these. Um, if you are lacking in fiber, they had, I remember this from years ago. I think they do like multivitamins and stuff too, and they're all like gummy based, but they had these fiber gummy snacks. And I want to say for like a package that size, which was technically one serving, uh, was like 25 grams of fiber. And you would not know. They, I know. And That's they eat a lot. And they taste just like gummy fruit snacks. Now, these are of 40 milligrams of turmeric, turmeric and ginger. So yeah, Herbaland, snack of benefits. Oh, and the ginger too. So they might be a little hot. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll see here. They got Tapioca some gummy fiber. Okay. They smell. Fantastic. 40 milligrams of turmeric per serving, high in fiber as well. The bad that I just want to like rub this on myself. <laughs> it does smell good. I know. Mm. I love the texture of the gummies. They're so hard. hard. Our hard chilies. And I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Got those pineapple. Pineapple, like hard pineapple, like ripe, ripe pineapple. I love pineapple flavor. I just Ooh. can't eat real pineapple. Ooh, the ginger. Is it ginger creeping. Is it coming? Ginger creeping. Ooh! 
little yeah. bit. A little bit. I cannot eat fresh pineapple. I've always told you guys that like I can have it mixed in things like a smoothie with other fruit, but to eat fresh pineapple, it has an enzyme type thing that some people are sensitive to on your tongue. And it totally hurts my tongue. I can't do it. He can eat a whole one, not even like know what I'm talking about. It's the weirdest thing. How many calories do you think is in one of those little gummies? One? Yeah, how many calories do you think it is? I don't know. 70. No, that's for the <laughs> package. No. Yes. One oh, serving per container. I was like, I read it wrong. This like, ain't no croutons. I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh, man, that was mind blowing. This ain't no crouton. <laughs> I was like, that's the most calorie dense gummy no. I've ever seen in my life. I love them. I highly recommend their gummies. Mmm. I'm snacking on these during the game tonight. We got a double whammy. There was a hockey game last night. There was a hockey game tonight. Yeah. And it's totally going to go later than my bedtime. So have fun. It's right later than my bedtime, too. Wow. Lame. I guess some of us are real fans. I like sleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> In the shape of a bolt. Actually, it's weird timing. I was putting stuff in my cart on Thrive Market. I need more tomato sauce. And uh, this was on the homepage, Mavericks cookies. Mavericks cookies. And because I cheated and I opened this box early, I remembered that. I'm like, that's in there. So we gotta try it, because it must be new. Birthday it's cake. On a new page. Uh, birthday cake, no artificial preserves or mm -hmm. sweetener stuff, no peanuts, vegan. Uh, one pouch is 110 calories. I'm in. Yeah. Wheat flour. What are they? Cookies, right? They're, they're cookies. They're cookies. Yeah. You better believe they're cookies. You baby. better believe they're Wheat cookies. Wheat flour cookies. Thing, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Can you show them? I did. You did. I did Great. Not. I mean, I know you, you've taken this one. <laughs> Tap it. Tammy here. That's what I felt like. You gotta tap it. They look like little um, the alphabet cookies. The cinnamon ones, but these are birthday cake from Trader Joe's. That's what the vibes it's given me. Oh, it smells bomb. I got a little heat in my mouth still from the ginger. I think I'm into it. Oh, I'm into it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whenever I think of mm. like birthday cake flavored like treats, I always think they're gonna be like, bam! Sugar, like in your face, like getting punched in the teeth with sugar. Yeah. These are really, <laughs> these are really mild, but it's they actually welcome. Oh, and they're just crispy enough where you kind of want milk with them. I left it out. You do. You've been doing that lately. <laughs> Tired. Well, yeah, they have the crumbly, melty thing. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's totally a good one too. Like the Trader Joe's, what do they call them? Cinnamon school book cookies. The ones that Pooter gets. The cinnamon grams. Mm -hmm. Just like that in texture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bomb. Bakery on Main. Um, <laughs> if you know, you know. Is it granola? It's granola. It's granola. Oh, it's monster cookie flavored. Of course. Monster cookie. Naturally. Bread. I've only had. 10 to 30. The big bag of this. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell you, it's wonderful it's and it's wonderful. the best thing in the box. You You're guys welcome. know he loves the Bakery on Main brand. So good. Their stuff is amazing. Yeah. They always throw those in, which is awesome. They have oatmeal, they have granola. And I thought they launched something else recently, but that's kind of what they're known for. Very good. Another one. That's the oatmeal. <sighs> Strawberry shortcake. God, I've only finished a giant bag of this as well, and I can tell you, it's delicious. It's the second best thing. <laughs> it's delicious. Behind the granola, mm -hmm. um, absolutely delicious stuff. Cool for on the go. I take these to work. He does, um, and I will continue to, to do so. <laughs> and uh, another bakery on Main. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is banana. Banana is the brand. I love it. Organic plantain nuggets in ranch. I've never had a plantain yeah. flavor ranch. Yeah. Oh, not ranch, but you've had yeah. plantain. Yeah, yeah, but like but the cookie or the yeah, but there's like a dried sweetness ones. to them that I don't know if ranch is gonna work, right? Oh, it's gonna work. Oh, I feel good about it. Did you show them? 
tap it. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Do they smell sus? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's like oh, yeah. freaking ranch corn nut. I put one, in, okay, you guys know when I'm sus about it when I put one in my mouth and I have a handful of something. We say sus because we have a 12 year old. <laughs> Which are literally ranch corn nuts, but so they're so good. Bomb. <laughs> Those are bomb. Very, very good. Made with coconut oil in them. Delicious. I'm telling you, ranch corn nut, slightly sweeter. Not as crunchy to break your teeth. Don't get this one started. You could demolish that. Watch me. Uh, here, let's do this big bag of uh, Fit Joy. Oh, hell yeah. So, I've had these in the <laughs> What happened was, is a couple months ago, when we went out of town, and we weren't mm -hmm. able to film that box that time, but I poured said box into my carry-on bag. What? <laughs> <laughs> and so you cheated on <laughs> right. And what happened was, is they threw in some white cheddar ones. Why share those? No, yeah, that was my thought, and so I didn't. And they're really, really, really good. Well, you don't get to try the garlic basil ones I get to eat now. So, what's up? All right, so. Wow. I'm here with all my friends. Anyway, Fit Joy grain free pretzels. I'm not sure how you do that. And then <laughs> garlic basil. Um, I don't feel like you see that combo too much, especially for a pretzel. Yeah. got all type of Italian seasoning. Jeez, those are strong. Oh my goodness, they're all dusty too. Look at that. Yeah, so with the white cheddar ones. Real dusty. <laughs> kind of suck off the flavoring. Oh. Tastes because like the pizza. Because the flavor. Pizza. Because that flavor is so good. The texture works because the, if, if they were if they were just plain salted like fake out pretzels, I'd be like, no, this texture is wrong and I don't like it. But because the flavor is so unique and robust, it absolutely works. Tastes kind of like pizza. This that is our dinner tonight. <laughs> Yeah. Very good. That's the seasoning though that I want like dusted on my garlic bread. I thought you were gonna say on me. <laughs> oh yeah. Love corn. <laughs> we had this one last time. The Was this in the bag that you cheated no, on? No, you had that oh, one. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> Love corn. <laughs> It is the sea salt, basically corn nuts. And we did have them last time. They are so good, so good. Uh, are we going, we're going in, let's go in. Nate describes them as being cooked 899 times in the oven versus 900 times, which is the difference of breaking your teeth and not breaking your teeth, like real corn nuts. I never worried about my teeth. The whole time? The whole time, oh, beautiful. They did some good work on this box. It's a good box. It's a good box. And we still have a little more. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nut cloud creamer is bomb. This is in cookie butter. I know. I know. Right I'm going to leave that right there. Most of the flavors we have enjoyed. It's been a while though since we've purchased this, but we've totally had it. You can pretty much find it anywhere now too. Really, really good. And Decadent. Little yes, bit goes a long way. It does. And really, I feel like right. it's good for the macros that it is too. Because so many like dairy-free creamers out there, they've killed it. They're delicious. 
they're high in sugar, high. many of them. Even now, Starbucks has like their almond milk creamer kind, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. The almonds are high. They're crazy. They are, and this for a tablespoon is five calories, zero sugar, zero everything, basically. Yeah. And I think you get enough flavor. I agree. And, and creaminess yeah. to add. Oh, chocolate. Nib, Nib more. more. Nib more. It's my nickname in college. Yes. Blue um. <laughs> Blueberry <laughs> organic dark chocolate. You know what? I still have. I still have some of the blueberry chocolate pieces from Costco. I do not remember the brand now off the top of my head. You know what I'm talking about? It has like the wild blueberries in it. It's incredible. We could compare and that's an excuse to eat more. But yes, look, can you see that at all? Oh. There's actual oh, blueberries yeah, yeah, yeah. in it yeah. and it's so subtle. It tastes identical. It does. They're so good. What a unique combination to me. Like, I just don't feel like you see that too much. It's so good. Mm. And you know what? Mm. I don't even feel like you can really eat that much, and that's why we still have so many. And I love them. But one chunk. Yeah. It's so rich it in the dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is Ooh. penicillin, but. You know. <laughs> That's a Tuesday thing. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. What was your favorite? All right, so we got to pick a favorite. We got to pick a favorite treat, like like sweet, and we okay. got to pick a savory. Okay. 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 So. What you got over there, boy? For me, this is my savory. We're going to leave the bakery and mango over there. Um, my savory is them pretzels. Them pretzels. Them pretzels. Them, them pretzels. Them pretzels. But I like the mac and cheese too. That's just a hit on its own, we'll say. But for snacks, they're bomb. But they're kind of sweet too. Like I said, they are. What if you... Like that. <laughs> and okay. Then, and then, then what for else? Sweet. For sweet. I thought they were delicious. They are very good. They're very they're good. They're very, very good. Like I said, it's, uh, it, it's birthday cake without it being... Too much in your face, and I appreciate that balance. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please again give this video a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Check out Vegan Cuts if you have not already, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. My gosh, you really did just leave everything out on the counter to make sure your refrigerator hit it. <laughs> yeah. So was the white cheddar like this rich in flavor? It was very rich in flavor. It was quite delicious. I ate the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. Yeah. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> I haven't made mac and cheese like this in a year. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is, this is some high school stuff. Yeah. So funny story about mac and cheese. <laughs> it's a real story, guys. I didn't have a lot of quick, easy meal stuff that was a little bit more expensive. I, I just got the ingredients and I had to learn how to cook at an early age. Very early. And I remember in high school on our first date, first date. Kim, and then I Kim married messed him. up. Kim messed up <laughs> on the first date. She came back to my house because I picked her up and I said, hey, where do you want to go to dinner? You know, we really didn't like plan it out. It was just, we're going to go do a dinner and movie. Well, she wasn't hungry. So we went to the movie. Dainty queen. <laughs> Uh, but then she wanted every treat, and then when we got the, when the, uh, the popcorn and the stuff and the things. Well, yeah. So so we're at the movie theater. A guy thing. A guy thing, A yes. Guy thing. I still have the movie ticket stuff in my wallet, by the way. Do you really? I do. It's in my wallet. And, uh, How old is that then? That's 20 years old? 20, 20 something years old, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, it's like January 28th or something like that. Um, so, Which is my ex-boyfriend's birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Hey, this smells like Doritos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Movie ends, magically she is starving to death. And I was oh like, yeah. And I was like, like, well now it's already kind of late. There's no place really nice. I don't really want to take you to like Taco Bell on a first date. Like, you, what do you want to eat? That. What do you want to eat? I don't know, but I don't I said, okay, my house is literally around the corner. Girls, don't and go I'm, back to the guy's house I'm, the first date. I'm innocent, by the way. I'm, I'm so, like, the innocent of the two of us back then. 
love the two of us. I like how you said that. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, well, I have food at my house. So we get back to my house and we had more butter. She literally comes out of nowhere and she goes, she goes, well, I just want like mac and cheese. This idea thing. I said, okay, cool. I'm making mac I and cheese, it. but it's gonna be it, it's gonna be like twenty to thirty minutes. She goes, she goes, don't you have like Easy Mac you have, or like, something? Easy Mac. And I was like, I was like, no, we don't have Easy Mac. And then she was like, she was like, you don't have the blue hot. <laughs> and she just started doing like the whole like. <laughs> and, what was that? <laughs> and I literally dropped the. I don't have an Easy Mac, bitch. <laughs> And it was in that moment I knew. Casual. He was the one. I was like, we don't have an easy man, bitch. I have to make this from scratch. <laughs> and I literally did the, oh my God, I just called. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't mean that. That literally just slipped. She's laughing and I was like, like okay, whatever. Well, we got a good thing going. So I, I make her mac and cheese from scratch. And then I even got her a to-go Tupperware container. And she lied to me and told me it was the best mac and cheese ever. Really and, I, and I sent her home with the uh, with the mac and cheese, and then that that's what triggered your mom off to just be like, where you did, where did you get this mac and cheese and a Tupperware from? That's weird. Uh, yeah, then she got scolded. We were very good, mm -hmm. and uh, I knew by day two, I'd marry him, and here we are. There it is. There it is. Yum. Not done. Take your time. I know you like these more than me. Do you like my fall socks? Yeah. I'm about all of this right now. And I didn't have to make dinner. I'm about to nut pot all over your Can't keep that in, can you? <laughs>